Well, today I will be replacing the internal batteries on a 18 volt rigid cordless drill. I have two of these batteries and both of them are NICAD and both of them have gone bad uh, actually several years ago. And I have not replaced the batteries because a new battery can run anywhere from 70 to a hundred dollars and just didn't feel like that was worth the investment uh, when drills these days are not so expensive. So I had gotten uh, on eBay and I found some replacement batteries that are called sub C's. Uh, and what we're going to be doing today is taking apart the battery compartment and showing you how to solder in and replace the internals. Uh, I believe for these batteries, uh, I think I paid around $26 uh, on eBay, uh, coming from China. To do the repair today, the what we're going to be doing is using uh, a voltmeter. Uh, and you don't have to use a voltmeter, but I'm going to show you throughout the process how the voltmeter can come in handy. You will need a Torx bit screwdriver, and this particular screwdriver on my drill at least, is the type of Torx bit that has a hole in the center of the bit. Uh, the screw itself requires uh, this specific, specific type of bit. And then I will also be using uh, just an inexpensive soldering iron and solder. Uh, nothing particular about these, it's just a standard, uh, standard solder. and also standard soldering iron. So let's get started and uh, show you how to do this. Okay, so the basic concepts are the same whether you're using uh, a rigid drill or any other drill. Uh, you can use these same uh, basic concepts. But each drill is set up a little differently inside. So this drill here, what we have is on the back, we have five locations. Uh, where uh, the screws need to be uh, pulled out. We've got one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. So those screws will need to come out and that will allow the casing to separate. So this is what it looks like with the screws uh, backed out. So as you can see, the five screws are there and now I will proceed to uh, just go ahead and pull those out the rest of the way. Um, and then I'll come right back to you. All right, so now we are taking the battery apart. And the best way on this particular battery is to squeeze in on the sides and just kind of wiggle it loose. Looks like I might have one of my screws still attached here. So let's see if we can back that out. Obviously you can see it's important to make sure you have your screws backed all the way out. All right, so now I've got that pulled off and this is what we're looking at. So I'll give you a close up here. This is the sub C batteries and this is what we're gonna be replacing and resoldering. All right, um, at this point we wanna remove the batteries from the rest of the bottom housing. So we're just going to continue to wiggle um, and as you can see it just comes right off. We're going to set this aside for assembly later and now you can see the connections here. Uh, this is where the batteries are all brought in together through series 
so that it can make contact uh, with the uh, with the charger. All right, so we're going to take this covering off. This is just something you're gonna set aside and put back on. Remember that this went on the bottom. So when I removed it, I removed it like this from the bottom of the case. So I'm gonna take this off, set that aside. And then also there's a, uh, a top rubber gasket as well. And we're gonna set that aside as well. Okay, so I have taken one of the tabs off, uh, this tab here. Uh, there's two important, tab <clears throat> two important tabs that you need to remove uh, in order to remove this top piece off, which is what we need to keep to put on the new batteries. So there's one tab here, and there's one tab here. And what I found is that these are, I believe, tacked on. Um, I, Took me quite a while to work with this one uh, with my soldering iron and in the end I ended up just needing to pry it up with a screwdriver so I've done this one I'm going to show you now uh, what I did uh, and do it on this one here Uh, it's important too that you not ruin the tab. Uh, you need that tab in order to put it back on the other batteries. Let's see if we can pry it loose. So uh, that came loose, the tab. Uh, I will end up re-straightening out this tab uh, and the other tab before I put them back on uh, the new ones. Okay, so what it's important also to do is take a mental note of the direction that, let's just say the, the, this one here, this battery that sticks out, kind of like an arrow that uh, I have a longer tab here, but you just want to figure out on your particular battery what direction this is facing so that when you put it back on, you put it back on the same direction. So I'm going to look at the longer side facing this direction with my metal tabs uh, and the wiring off the metal tabs facing the other direction. Okay, and now I'm going to remove this tape. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need it again for putting it back on, but I'm going to remove those. And as you can see here, these wires these two positive and negative wires are going down inside. Uh, so what we're gonna need to do is remove all of these tabs, which since I have uh, tabs on my new batteries that already come with tabs, I'm not worried about breaking them. Uh, if you don't have new tabs on your batteries and you do break these tabs, then what you could do is take a piece of any kind of type of electrical wire, uh, something real thin, maybe like a speaker wire, and strip it on each end and just use that uh, a little tiny piece to go uh, from one side to the other. Um, so let's, uh, I'll, I'll do a couple of these just so you can see how I'm gonna break them. I'm just gonna pry them loose with a screwdriver. And the reason I'm doing that is because I need to remove this plastic top piece from here and also from the other side. So I'll do a couple of them and show you how it's done. So I'm 
just going to get my screwdriver up underneath, pry. They should break fairly easily. broke. So there's one. Uh, let's try this one here. Again, just taking a flat, small flathead screwdriver and prying that loose and then pulling up on it. And as I do that, the metal is bending and breaking on the tab. So that tab is broke. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of them on the top here and I'll be right back with you. Okay, uh, I finished snapping all the tabs and uh, I was gonna pull off this cap and I realized that with this, these two wires going in that are soldered onto this uh, battery down in here, that I can't get this cap off yet. So the way I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the tabs on the back end so that I can take this plastic piece off, this rubber piece, and uh, be able to get in to unsolder, unsolder the battery. So I'll be right back with you. I'm going to now take all of these tabs off. Okay, uh, back with you. I ended up not taking the tabs off yet on the bottom side. Um, I found it a little more difficult to do because they, the batteries all wanted to start to fall apart. And it's extremely important that we keep the batteries in the same positioning that they are here so that we can replicate the positive to negatives. Because some of these batteries are turned upside down with the positive on top and some with the negatives on top. So what I'm going to do now instead is I'm going to unsolder the connection here. And then I will re-solder that after I uh, put it all back together. And I apologize, my soldering iron is Harbor Freight special, so it uh, doesn't always work as fast as I'd like. Uh, so there we go, we got one here. And again, we wanna make sure that we keep uh, the directions of these uh, of these wires the same so I always want I want to make sure that I put that one on the far right tab and this wire here when I resolder it back later will be on the far left tab This one's taking a little longer than I anticipated. Okay, uh, because my soldering iron is not very good, I'm going to uh, take this off and I'll be right back with you. 